Hello, I am Dr. Prashant Joshi. Uh, I am an IBF consultant based in Bangalore. Today I will be discussing about an important topic, what you should do when IUI fails. So whenever IUI fails, it is always, you know, uh, not very happy news for those who are undergoing treatment and they always feel stressed out and what next. So what is this IUI? IUI is basically done in certain cases uh, where the sperm count is either slightly low, the, uh, there is an unexplained infertility where you don't know what is the cause, the tubes are normal. In such cases, what we do is we take the husband's sperm, process it and at the time of ovulation, uh, we'll monitor and uh, do the procedure that is insert the sperm inside the uterus, uh, hoping that pregnancy will occur. The success rate of IUI is around 15% roughly, 15 to 20%. And uh, sometimes this IUI fails because the success rate is itself 15 to 20%. Uh, what are the reasons for IUI failure? So the most common reason for IUI failure is age. So IUI is more successful in a younger age group than when you're nearing 40. Also the egg quality. One thing we can't assess in the um, IUI is the egg quality. Most of the common causes of failure of IUI is probably the egg quality. Uh, which only we know when we uh, extract the eggs in IUI, IVF. But otherwise, in IUI, we can't assess the egg quality. Also, many a times, sperm, uh, sperm itself is a problem because IUI, the indication, one of the indications is low sperm count. So if the sperm is abnormal, the egg is abnormal or the embryo is abnormal, then again, IUI can fail. Other reasons are the timing of IUI whether it was done uh, at the time when the egg ruptured, was it monitored properly, ovulation, was, was the lining good, endometrial lining good, all these things also impact the success rate of IUI. IUI can be tried maximum of three to four times. And uh, more than that, it is not advisable because doing the same procedure again and again, uh, will just, uh, you lose out on the time and the costs uh, and the finances so it is better then you should proceed for IVF you have to talk of course to your IVF specialist and discuss what are the causes and what could be the reason why it failed but it gives you a hint that you are a candidate who might require an IVF for ICSI in uh, IVF or ICSI you have you need some preparation before going on for it directly first is you have to heal yourself because see, once you are too much stressed out uh, then the results are not good because we need people who are relaxed. So one of the things is you have to take a break and get a little relaxed and then go on to IVF. I think uh, this information will be useful. Thank you.